Well, that's two rods all cast out. Before I put the third rod out, I'm gonna talk you through how I ledger for pike using drop-off indicators. Firstly, I've got a 60 pound braided main line. It's so important that your line or your braid is incredibly strong. If I was using mono, I'd use a minimum of 15 pound mono. Running on the braid, I've got a buoyant ledger stem with a three and a half ounce lead attached to the bottom. The bigger the lead, as silly as it sounds, the less resistance because that lead isn't going to move when the line runs through the ledger stem. I've then got a buffer bead with a quick chain swivel tied to the end of the braid and then I've clipped my wire trace onto the quick chain swivel. My wire trace is about two foot long of 30 pound wire with two size four semi barbed trebles and on this occasion I've got a sardine as bait. So let's get this rod cast out and I'll show you how to set up the drop off indicator. Well that's the dead bait cast out and I've tightened right down to the rig to get any bow out of the line. Also I point the bank sticks straight at the dead bait so it offers even less resistance. So now we simply clip on the drop off arm underneath the reel, open the bail arm and have that arm right underneath the spool of the reel. Turn your bite alarm on. And because we're using a running rig with a nice heavy lead, whichever way the pike moves off with that bait, even if he swims towards us, it acts like a pulley system. So as soon as they move the bait, the braid will come off the reel, the drop off will fall off, flow over the bite alarm, and we just walk down and strike straight away. <laughs> 